It's time to create a new project. To do that, we'll go to the Projects tab. I'll click on Projects, and then we'll hit New Project. This should give us a pop-up of a couple different options of different project types that we can create. There's also a drop-down up at the top that's important to remember. So when you install new Unity versions, it'll let you select which Unity version to create your new project for. By default, it's just going to be on the one that we've installed. If you have multiple installed, though, just make sure that you've selected the correct editor version here and don't have an old one there. Now, we have quite a few template options. There's a 2D core, a 3D core, a 2D URP core, a 3D mobile core, 2D mobile core. There's all of these different options down here. They all kind of do slightly different things. I'll talk really briefly about what those are and then we'll make our selection. The 2D core option allows us to create a 2D platformer using Unity's older built-in render pipeline. This is something that well, was the only way to create 2D games in Unity up until relatively recently. I would say it's now near being deprecated and probably not something that you should choose. In fact, I don't think it should really be the top option here. 3D Core is kind of the same way. This is for creating a 3D game using the built-in render pipeline, which is the old non-customizable render pipeline. Now, these are the two old ones. The new ones are the 2D URP core, which is a 2D project using the universal render pipeline, which is a rendering system built for, well, rendering on just about every device. That's why it's called universal. Mobile devices, uh, consoles, PC, web, just about everywhere. It doesn't have the maximum like highest end graphics but it has very very good graphics just not the super photo realistic stuff for that you would go down to something like 3d hdrp in fact there isn't even a 2d hdrp option because it's two-dimensional game 2d games don't really have that realistic lifelike stuff 3d hdrp is for a 3d realistic game or 3d urp for a 3D game that is, well, something that you're building without a giant art team that's giving you these great realistic 3D models. So your general options are usually going to be 3D URP or 2D URP. Those are the two that I recommend for most projects that you're going to end up building. For this project, though, we're going to choose 2D URP. So make sure that you've selected 2D URP and then scroll down and give your project a name. I'm going to name mine Alien blasters and then we'll give it a location so choose where you want to save your project off to i generally like to have a folder right off of the root of my drive where i store all of my projects so let's go create one now i'm going to create a new projects folder and then create or create it into that folder so we'll have an alien blasters folder that gets created in my projects folder i'll hit create and our project should get created. Unity will launch up, and in a minute or so, we'll have our new project ready to go. Now that it's finished opening, which took a little bit longer because I've got a bad internet connection here, we can see the Unity editor and we can see my project. The editor might look a little bit confusing right now. There's a lot of stuff here, a lot going on, and we're gonna talk about that all in the next section. I'll go over each of the different areas and describe and explain what's going on there and what all of these things mean. For now though, you can just go to Window and choose the Layouts option and choose Default to get a nice default layout. You don't need to go set up the project or do the linking or anything like that. We'll do that afterwards. Once you've got your view looking just about like this, click over to the game view, make sure that it looks blue, go back to the scene view, and then come to the next section where we'll go over all of the different editor parts.